Hey, Res family, uh, Pastor Daniel, Pastor Mark, two of your executive pastors here. I wanted to have an opportunity to talk about some of the things that are going on in the life of our church. We have been working now for, I think, close to three years on uh, this elder process. And so coming up really soon, uh, we're going to uh, put some people in front of the congregation for confirmation. Talk to us about who that is, how that works, and, and what's happening. Yeah, so like you said, for like three years, we've been working through this process. It started with with the mentorship program that we did. And then from there, we kind of identified some guys that we thought might make good owners or good um, elders. Elders, that's right. the word I was looking for. Had to be uh, owners. Yeah, they have to be owners, but they'll make good <laughs> elders. And from there, we spent a lot of time with them uh, through various Bible studies and different things that we go on. So the past 10 months now, mm -hmm. we've been working with a group of four guys and we've gone through a lot of training with them. And we're getting to the point now where uh, we feel like there's a good calling on these people's lives and we're going to be presenting them to the church at our business meeting coming up real soon. It's awesome. So uh, part of what we do at Res Church when the elders have confirmed a calling in someone, uh, in this case for both uh, deacon and for elder, is we put them in front of the church body at our business meeting, which is coming up soon. But before that, how, how does the church... Uh, have an opportunity to uh, work with or, or, or get to know these guys and see them. Starting this coming um, Sunday, we are going to be having Res Connect, which is just a gathering at the end of each service. And we're going to have these elders and their family in the um, breezeway at the end of each service. So you can uh, get to know them, ask them questions, and just get a good feel for who, who we're talking to. And, and the thing about Res Connect, because we've been talking about this for a little while, is it gives our church an opportunity to have more fellowship, sort of after service, uh, talk to elders, talk to pastors, talk to ministry leaders, and in this case, meet some potentially future elders who are up for a confirmation inside of our church. So lots of things that are gonna be started here uh, soon in terms of just more ways to build relationship and unity inside of our church. Uh, that's not the only new thing that's coming or new things that are coming. I hear we have a, a new staff member on, our, on their way here. Yes, so after close to a year's search, we have been, uh, we've been trying to find the, a, a production director to come on staff with us and help propel us forward. So after a very long search, lots and lots of different interviews, we have um, brought along uh, Justin Emanuel, uh, to come be a part of our church. He should be coming out in the middle of November, and we're just super excited. When he does come, we'll be sure to introduce him to the church and let you guys just love on him. And I hear he's not from around here. No, he is from New York, has the, the best accent in the world, <laughs> and uh, he's just a super, super fun guy. No culture shock, right? Coming no, from no New culture York shock. To Bakersfield. Yeah, it's, it's it's nothing like going from South Carolina to Bakersfield. So I've been looking at the calendar, and I saw this new thing on the calendar. I have no idea what this is. Why don't you let us know? It's called All Hands. All Hands. Yeah. Um, so you know what we have tried to do over the last few years is have these uh, rallies for our volunteers, and so just in reflection and in work with our teams for development, uh, we thought we would we would continue to evolve and change those things. And so uh, we, we've kind of done away with all ins and we're moving toward this concept of all hands or all hands on deck, right? And, and kind of a, a naval term of, of getting everybody together. Uh, so this is a, a whole church thing. Everyone's invited, whether you serve in a specific area or particularly if you know you want to serve, but you haven't been able to find your fit. Um, if you call Res your home, if you're interested in serving somewhere, we want to invite you to this. And it's our opportunity to get everybody together, kind of that all hands on deck, and talk about where our ship is going, where our church is going. So we want to talk about the things that are coming. Uh, we want to talk about maybe changes that you have seen or that are coming so that you're not going to be surprised by them. Uh, you know, as we chart the course and make adjustments for the church, we, we want to communicate those things. But we also uh, want an opportunity to just encourage you as uh, people that are intimately familiar with the church, but also invested in, in, in the church. Uh, so it's meant to be an opportunity to, uh, I hope, be really encouraged, continue to build unity, get to see each other, uh, not necessarily in, in the trenches when you're serving, but be, where you're taking a breather and you have an opportunity to, to, to get to see each other and, and have a good time. And so we'll be doing that on November 6th at 9 a.m. at uh, the Nile, which is our downtown campus. 
So that's all we have for the uh, res update this week. Just want you guys to know that we love you. We're excited to see you again this Sunday. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we have this week for the res update. Uh, we love you guys. We can't wait to see you Sunday. And this Sunday, don't forget, we have a res connect. So come find me and Daniel out on the breezeway.